the rich culture of Iran has an, been an important part of uh, world civilization in the past. And uh, for the past uh, century also, many Iranians have been making notable contributions to uh, uh, technology, medicine, and all aspects of uh, uh, development of uh, the world. Uh, we hope that uh, by bringing some of these uh, achievements to uh, the attention of the outside world and emphasizing them, we managed to bring Iranians together and point out a way to the youth as to what direction they should go in future. Of course, in this day and age, you would want to get, you want to have a feeling where origin, origin or nationality is irrelevant in some sense, but uh, so far we are far from this ideal goal. So given that, you would want to have a situation where Iranians are not, are not always portrayed in the media in some some way which is political or otherwise and somehow bring back the focus on intellectual achievements of Iranians. I think Sina uh, is an attempt to bring the focus back to an intellectual sphere to focus uh, the attention of not only Iranians in Iran or Iranians abroad but also all people, Iranians or non-Iranians, to the fact that many people from Iran who were born in Iran or who have some origin in Iran are contributing to the humanity in all these different intellectual spheres and trying to advance the human culture regardless of the origin they are from and regardless of where they live. Um, I think that the uh, initiation of an organization like SINA um, is a really very positive development in the Iranian community, uh, certainly in Boston, uh, for a number of reasons. Uh, the Iranian diaspora um, is, to be candid, quite fractured in many uh, ways and dimensions uh, due to the waves of Iranians who have left the country for different reasons, pursuit of education, jobs, other reasons. Uh, there have been barriers that have kept the Iranian uh, community uh, highly heterogeneous and, and fractured. And I think that anything that can bring this community together, um, strengthen the sense of identity both for the older uh, and more senior um, um, expats who are living here as well as the newer and younger generation of Iranian Americans can be quite positive. Uh, I think uh, what Sina has the potential to do and in fact I expect it to do is to create a strong network of Iranian scholars, artists and entrepreneurs despite all these differences that we all have and we know that we have and based on one important thing that we all share in common, which is our Iranian identity, I mean, our Iranian culture, literature, language, similar social experiences, and so on. And uh, as someone who is studying social networks, uh, I can tell you that the significant influence of personal and professional networks in growth and development of individuals and societies is a well-established scientific fact. And I think Sina uh, has the potential to create an invaluable uh, self-supporting and self-enhancing uh, community of Iranians all over the world. Uh, all these Sina scholars um, and organizing these kind of events will definitely help uh, young Iranians to maintain their connections with Iran, especially when they are living in a foreign country and um, it helps them to and it reminds them uh, to appreciate uh, what is what the rich culture we have back in home. I think basically anything that brings Iranian together in US is something of great interest, specifically with the Sina's approach, which is bringing Iranian scholars. That can have a huge impact on the Iranian community in future by bringing different people from different backgrounds together. So that would help them to 
get better understanding of each other and also would bring different thoughts which can obviously be of great importance. The Wardis and Sina's list have at least one thing in common and that's the extreme hard work that they've put into their profession. They've all made significant sacrifices in their lives in order to contribute to the science and culture of the world. The world is a much better place to live because of their contributions and it is because of them that we Iranians are inspired and motivated to work hard. Thank you, great Iranian men and women, for all the hard work that you've done and contributions that you've made. As an Iranian, I guess it's pretty necessary to know about um, great achievers who did a lot of outstanding contribution to the today's world. And um, as an Iranian who lives abroad, I deal with a lot of foreigners and international people who don't know anything about Iran. They haven't heard any word about Iran and all the things that they have is something that comes from media, which is not 100% correct in most of the cases. So I guess um, the name of these achievers and the contributions that they did is a great source I can refer to whenever I want to introduce my country, my culture and the talents that um, exist in Iran to people who don't know anything about it. See scholars, Iranian scholars, Iranian American scholars, who have taken a big step in their lives. Um, whether it is in science, technology, or art, or literature, it is important for me to know these people and to let them know that we appreciate what they're doing. Um, so yeah, I think because of this, Sina is doing a huge thing. But I think the question is, what have we done as individuals? Sina, I think, it creates a sense of uh, appreciation, a sense of belonging by acknowledging the great achievements of Iranians. And uh, for a group of Iranian students who live outside of the country and are studying at some of the best schools in the world, to step up, take on the challenge, and spend a lot of time and effort to make it happen, I think it's admirable, it's great, and perhaps most appropriate as Many of these people might well be recipients of these awards 10, 20, 30 years from now. I'm becoming a very important goal because these Iranians can be the leaders for these nations and the next generation. Our community and our young people have a need for the leaders. الگوهایی که هم در اثر تلاش و کوشششون به دانش و مهارت‌های بالا و شاخصی دست پیدا کردند هم اینکه اون دانش و مهارت رو در جهت خدمت به مردم به کشور و حتی به دنیا عرضه کردند این نیروها و این الگوها می توانه برای جوانان مفید باشه که ببینن می تونن به یه همچین شخصیت های تبدیل بشن می تونن در اثر درست تصمیم گرفتن در اثر کوشش در راه صحیح به یک همچین شخصیت های مبدل بشن که هم خودشون از زندگی و سمرات زندگیشون لذت ببرن و هم جامعه و جهان بهرمند بشه بنابراین من فکر کنم این واقعا کار مفیده دست اونایی که این کار رو میکنن درد نکنه به خصوص این که این کار رو تعدادی از دانشجویان به طور دافتالوانی داره انجام میدن من فکر کنم که این کاری که این دانشجو انجام میدن هم خود کار مفیده هم برای دانشجوانی که این کار فوق برنامه رو انجام میدن برای رشد خودشون مفیده چه خوبه که دانشجو و جوانان با استعداد ما که در دانشگاه های خوب کار میکنن و شایسته بودن که بر اون دانشگاه ها مشغول تحصیل بشن این انگیزه 
ارائه خدمات اجتماعی درشون وجود داشته باشه To be honest, I'm quite nervous to go on the stage in three days, but I'm somehow in strengthened by the fact that the Sina team has done so much work and have impressed me so much by the fact that they manage to get the job done despite all the differences that everyone in every group will have. I think they can serve as a great example for the Iranian community how to get together and do something despite all the differences we have. It feels really great uh, to start just from an idea and after one year and a half of hard working see something is really happening in the real world. So as we get closer to the Sina day, I get more and more excited to see how everything goes. It was uh, an amazing experience. Uh, the feeling that uh, you're part of a group who initiated an organization from zero and raise it to the point that uh, you could dare to invite so many high profile and so many distinguished Iranians um, to your event. It's just an amazing feeling. And I, uh, I feel really lucky to be part of that group. Well, there are only three days left to Sina Day and I have mixed feelings. I'm both nervous and excited. I'm nervous because we're really getting close to Sina Day and we're finally going to see the result of all our efforts and I'm more excited because we're going to see Sina Awardees, Hall of Fame inductees and all the brilliant people in the crowd. I really hope that you all enjoyed Sina Day so far and uh, would love to help Sina to be more successful. It was really an exciting and memorable experience for me to be part of the Sina team. Uh, we gathered together for one goal and that was to recognize our acclaimed achievers and I'm really happy that we could make this happen. I hope you have enjoyed the Sina Day so much that you will join the Sina next year to make the second Sina Day a better one. Uh, that was a great experience running Sina organization, working with motivated students, advisory board of course, who are a great source of hope and Basically, they showed us the way to go. They shared their experience with us. I cannot wait for Sina Day to get feedbacks from the audience to see what they think. I believe even a single sentence from one of these award recipients or Hall of Fame inductees can change a life. And that's why we are here at Sina team, the executive team. We are trying hard to make this happen. Thank you.